It's certainly one thing to observe the simping process live in an online context, but it's an entirely different thing when this type of simping, or even worse forms of it, result in the enrichment of the women and complete degradation of the individuals involved who are actively participating, i.e. the men. Now, this probably doesn't surprise most of you at this stage, but there have been entire websites that have been financed by singular individuals who are basically simps. You might have heard of something called financial domination, which is a form of BDSM. I tell you, there was one instance of a guy who spent millions supporting the entire website and the people on it, i.e. the women on it. So this is just a drop in the bucket when we look at instances of OnlyFans and guys dropping a couple of hundred, or in a case of a couple of thousand. But not everyone is prepared for the shock that this produces. I have a German friend who was blown away by not just the existence of a particular VTuber. And you know VTube. They basically use these cute anime girl rig models to appear cute and friendly and nice, and they talk in a nice, sweet voice. But basically, she had never shown herself in any real capacity, always using the anime rig. And then all of a sudden, she decided to show her foot. She promised she would. And she showed a little, little bit of her foot and thousands and thousands of euros came pouring in for her. Now, of course, any person who seems somewhat rational would say, this is a problem, and it is a problem. I don't think the majority of men are doing this, or even a large minority, but a sufficient minority to support businesses of this sort and to keep people going for years. Another radical case, you could say, is a woman named Amaranth, who is depending on the day, month, or year, possibly the most popular Twitch streamer who just lies there in a bikini in a bathtub and just babbles into the camera and into the mic. And she has an entire army of simps that she treats very poorly, by the way. Every time she's attended some kind of convention, she invariably treats them poorly. And they always look the part. They look like the type of guys who would do that. I hate to say it nerdy, needy, all these things. Well, what is the problem at the end of the day with all this, apart from the very obvious factor here, you know, wasting all this money on something that you never really get anything returned for? Well, therein lies the rub. The problem here, fundamentally, to my view, with the Sim Parade and these guys who are basically supporting these women and creating a living for them for something that doesn't warrant a living is a lack of self-awareness at the end of the day. Sure, there is a mechanical function here, the dopamine hit. And for whatever weird reason, these simps who spend hundreds, thousands, in some cases millions, to support women that don't give a rat's buttocks about them online, that will never talk to them any real way, they are getting a dopamine hit from that, the same way that if you get a high KD in Call of Booty, or you're playing a game and beat a really difficult boss, you get the dopamine hit, but it's a little different because clearly to reach that stage where you're getting something out of it and you're willing to repeatedly pour money into it, that tells you that you lack self-awareness. What is that self-awareness? The self-awareness is that this so-called exchange that they're participating in will never yield IRL results. It's all a sham. And these guys must be so out to lunch about their own nature and about the nature of the devilish deal that they're engaging in that they simply lack self-awareness. Any guy, whatever his particulars might be in the manosphere, would be aware of his own inclination, of his own nature. And let's be honest, this goes all the way back to being a kid or a young teenager. You probably remember a time when you were 13, 14, whatever, when you would simp for girls. A lot of us did. I did. I remember being 14 or 15, and there was this girl called Kaya who was not amazing looking, but she had ginormous gazankas, right, for her age especially. So every guy, myself included, was extra nice to her. That is a type of simping, right? But obviously, over time, when you're not 14 or 15, you come to realize that you going out of your way to treat some girl, quote unquote, nicely, 
because she has some feature you like. In this case, gigantic zonkas does not mean that you're going to get anything out of it. And you go through this ritual enough times, you learn that lesson. However, if you've never gone through that ritual, you're not going to get to the point where you develop the self-awareness that you realize that this is all in vain, that you're not going to get anything out of it, much less realize that online you're going to get even less out of it, right? Because all the guys back then, myself included, that were going out of their way to treat average-looking, gigantic, gazonkered Kaya in a better way, none of them actually ended up messing around with her. It was a totally different dude. Yes, you guessed it, a Chad-like guy who was taller and ahead of the game. But the point is that everyone eventually learned their lesson. Being nice to women doesn't get you anything. Giving them stuff doesn't get you anything. As Rolo Tomasi likes to say, you cannot negotiate genuine desire. Credit where it's due. He is right about that. And so these guys online probably have never gone through an experience like that and therefore cannot fathom what it might be like to actually comprehend that this is going nowhere. Yes, they're getting a dopamine hit, but if they would internalize the information that the rest of us have, they probably wouldn't be doing this in the first place. So there's something to be said for certain formative experiences that you go through, even or especially when it's a failure, like trying to be extra nice to Big Gazonk at Kaya or any other girl that you might fancy because probably you think that's the way to go about it. When in reality, they don't really care one way or another if someone's being nice. Unless, of course, it's the guy that they're really into, in which case it's just kind of icing on the cake since they're into him already. But there's actually a blacker pill here if you think about it. Because a lot of these guys who are dumping tons of money into OnlyFans accounts or sending envelopes full of money to people like Amaranth, this actually happened. Some guy sent her envelopes full of money as well as different security devices, you name it, because supposedly her husband is abusive, supposedly, allegedly. If you were to make them realize this, in much the same way that Morpheus talks about the people in the Matrix, if you were to pull them out of their Matrix, I shudder to think what would happen then. The types of guys that are engaging this level of simping, that are basically emptying their pockets and chucking this money at females that will not even acknowledge that they exist, let alone even give a rat's buttocks about them. These are the types of guys that are so attached to the matrix that if you were to do something, if you were to say, look, this ends now, and you were to push a button, pull the plug, and all of a sudden they had the same awareness that you and I had, namely that we would never spend money on something like that. Ridiculous. I mean, I can't even spend money on $30 skins or Overwatch, let alone or something like that would never do it, then I think their entire world would crumble around them because anyone who's doing it has clearly reached a stage where it's just too far gone. And at that point, there's not much you can do. These guys are literally locked into the matrix of their own making and of the world's making. And of course, there's this online debate back and forth of who's ultimately at fault. Are the women at fault? Are the simps at fault? No, this is just the human ape, the human animal reacting to this new environment. And the only people who are really profiting, unfortunately, at the end of the day, are the females who are making this content, if you even want to call it content, because they're getting tons and tons of money in exchange for no obligation whatsoever, for basically nothing. And yeah, the environment has produced these types of men who, as I've suggested, would probably crumble into dust if they became self-aware and aware of these things in general to the same extent the rest of us are. The sympathon has only begun, gentlemen. The sympathon will continue and get worse and worse and worse. And I predict this year and the coming years that the numbers will only grow ever more greatly. And there's not much we can do except watch on the sidelines and feel a certain sense of sadness. People talk about prawn addiction. They decry men who are addicted to prawn. But the reality is those guys aren't spending their rent money on watching prawn. They're watching prawn, they're busy with it, but they're not forking over the things that they need to survive just to please some prawn star in a video. This is very, very different. So as a number of people like to say, I'll just say, enjoy the decline. And as always, 
Thanks for tuning in. Please leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. YouTube really, really hates my channel, really hates recommending my videos, so any help is appreciated on that front. And if I'm still alive, I'll check you out later. Take care. May the gods watch over you. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoy my content, please consider making a donation or becoming a patron. Thanks for watching.